Good morning, everyone. Today's lesson is about combination. So I'm going to teach you how to solve problems um, about combination. This is um, under probability. Let me give you an illustration first and think about this situation. How many ways can a basketball team of five players be chosen from 12 players? Think about that. Now, is there a specific arrangement for those five players? Well, if the answer is no, then that means we're talking about combination, all right? Now, let me give you um, the definition of combination. Combination is a selection of objects without regard to the order in which they are selected. This is totally different from uh, another lesson that I already discussed to you, and that's permutation. Now, let me give you a um, clear distinction between these two. So when we say permutation, it is an arrangement of outcomes in which the order does matter. On the other hand, combination is a grouping of outcomes in which the order does not matter. All right. Let's say we have letters, A, B, C, and D, and the different permutations are shown on the left. Here are the permutations. We're supposed to select two letters, right? Now, A, B, and B, A in permutations are different. We count them individually. So A, B is one arrangement. B, A is another arrangement. On the other hand, when we talked about combinations, A, B, and B, A are the same. C, A and um, A, C are different. But in combinations, they're the same. They counted as one. B, C, and C, B are different in permutations. Um, in uh, combinations B, C, and C, B are the same, and so on and so forth. So that will give us a clear distinction or difference between those two. All right. Now, can someone or can you tell me whether a specific situation is combination or permutation? Let's have this one. So there are 10, 100 people, or sorry, there are 100 people at a meeting. They each shake hands with everyone else. Is there a specific arrangement if you are shaking hands? The answer is no, so that's combination. How about this one? You are seating, you are setting the combination, although you see the word combination here, on a three-digit lock. So think about that. Let's say three, two, one. Is it different from one, two, three? When we talked about passcode three-digit lock, are those two different? Yes, they are different. So therefore, we're talking about permutation. How about this one? I'm going to give you five seconds to think about number three. All right? Permutation or combination? All right, that is correct. It's permutation. What about the fourth one? All right, that is right. It is combination because those four people doesn't need to be arranged. All right, it's combination. Now, to solve problems involving combination, we will be using this formula. So that's n factorial all over n minus r factorial times r factorial. I think I'm going to give you five examples here. Let's go to the first one. There are 110 people on at a, at a meeting. They each shake hands with everyone else. How many handshakes were there? So this is a handshake, handshake situation. We're doing combination here. So if you remember the formula, that's, sorry, that's N taking R at the time. So N factorial all over N minus R factorial times R factorial. All right. So our N here is that 100 people each shake hands. They each shake hands. So that's what? That's number two. That's our R. Okay. So which means this is 110 factorial all over 110 um, minus 2 factorial times R factorial, which is equal to... 110 times 109 times 108. And I'm going to stop here. Why is that? Because if I subtracted the denominator, perform the operation here, I, I can come up with 108 factorial. And I can cancel this 2 times 2 times 1. Of course, I can cancel out 2 and 110. That gives me 55 
So that means I only need to multiply 55 and 109, and that will give us 5,995. All right, let's go to the next example. How many ways can a basketball team of five players be chosen from 12 players? So there's 12, there are 12 players here. That's our N. The five is our R. So this will be equal to 12 factorial all over 12 minus five factorial times five factorial is equal to 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial all over 7 factorial times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so notice again i stop with 7 factorial because i'm expecting to cancel that out now let's try to simplify this 2 and 8 is 4 3 and 9 is 3 this is 4 and 4, 5 and 10 is equal to 2. So that means I, need, I just need to multiply 12 times 11 times 2 and times 3, which is equivalent to 792. All right, let me give you one last. Oh, no, the third example. So 12 points lie on a circle. How many cyclic quadrilaterals can be sh drawn using th these points? Obviously, this will be our N, and what will be our R? What do you think? Okay, we're talking about here cyclic quadrilateral. So that means it has four vertices, so that's four. Now, just to give you an idea of what this is, this is the circle. The question is how, how many uh, quadrilaterals can we draw here? The cyclic quadrilateral, if there are 12 points lie in a circle. So let's say one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I know my circle is not perfect. So let's say we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and then L. So let's say this is a cyclic quadrilateral right here. That one. We can also have this and that one. We can also have this and that one. So, etc., etc. Okay? So, we can do that manually or we can just use the formula. Let's use the formula. So, this is 12 factorial all over 12 minus 4 times 4 factorial. So this is 12 times 11 times um, 10 times 9 times 8. And again, I'm going to stop with 8 because the denominator tells me that 12 minus 8, 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 factorial. I can cancel that 8 factorial there. Here. Okay. So I think I can cancel this 10 and 2. That gives me 5, 9, and 3. That gives me 3. 4 and 12. That gives me 3. So 3 times 11 times 5 and times 3. Yep. That's 200 and... No, 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 no. 495. All right. I know that's a lot, right? Okay, let's go to the next example. In a class, there are 27 boys and 14 girls. Let me stop there for a while. The teacher wants to select two boys. So out of the 27, the teacher wants to select two boys. And out of the 14, the teacher wants to select two girls. To represent the class for a function, in how many ways can the teacher make this selection? So there you go. So this is equal to 27 or 2 taken, 27, uh, 27 taken 2 at a time, times 14 taken um, 2 at a time. All right, so this is 27 factorial all over 27 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial times um, 14 time factorial over 14 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So 27 means 20... 
7 times 26 times 25. I'm going to stop here. Why is that? Because 27 minus 2 is 25 factorial. So I can cross that out. So 2 times 1. I can cancel that 2 and 26. That gives me 13. So this is 27 times 13 is equal to 351. Multiply that to this uh, 14 taken 2 at a time. So 14 factorial. Um, nope. 14 times 13 times 12 factorial. Why is that? Because in the denominator, 12, 14 minus 2 is 12 factorial. So I can cancel that. So 2 times 1. Okay, 7 times 13 is equal to uh, 91. Multiply those two, the answer will be 31,941. All right, let's go to the last example. In a box, there are five black pens. So we have the five black pens, the white, and then the, uh, the four red pens. In how many ways can two black pens, two white pens, and two red pens can be chosen? So five... Three white pens and four red. There you go. So let's set up the problem first. Equals. So this is five factorial all over five minus two factorial, two factorial times three factorial all over three minus two factorial, two times two factorial, two factorial times 4 factorial all over 4 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. All right, here we go. This is 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Okay, cancel the 3. 2 times 1, I can cancel that. So this gives me 10. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. Um... And then this one is 1 factorial times 2 times factorial. So I can cancel this. And then I can cancel the 2 and 1. That gives me that gives me 3 here. Let me erase this. And then the last one will be 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. So that's 2 factorial. I can cancel that. 2 times 1. This is 2 and 1. That's 2. So times 6. All right. Multiply those three. The answer is 180 ways. So there you go. That's how you solve probability problems involving um, combination. All right. Thank you for watching.